Good morning, it's that time again, it's coffee time, which also means it's video intro for the day time. Um, so, I was right, I was up till about 3am last night finishing everything I need to finish. Um, I didn't I didn't have any time left to work on any of the video effects for Valley of the Succubus. But I kind of came up with something better um, for the movie that will add another three minutes to my feature length. And it was something that was, I'd already planned, but I wasn't feeling confident about it um, for whatever reason. So, um, but the thing is, it's, it was for, for the song called Evershade, and I was just going through looking for music that wasn't so cheesy to go behind my blogs, um, and I found Evershade. So, and Evershade's a great song. Musically, it's fantastic, but we have another version that has Tom Atkinson doing the drums and my brother David, who's an incredible bassist on bass. And I hadn't really finished it properly because I've learned so much since when I when I did that that track. I mean, that, when I was making that track, I was using Adobe Audition, which I never use anymore. Now I use Cubase, which is a far better piece of software and has a lot more um, versatility. And initially I was like, okay, well, you know, this, this is another song. This is another song that I can perform and stick on YouTube and maybe get some hits from and um, build my audience with, which is cool. Because um, every time I do a song, I, I usually get like a couple extra Twitter followers and, um, you know, might make 20 cents <laughs> from 100 people looking at it if, I, if I'm lucky enough to get 100 people looking at it uh, so it's kind of it's it's minimal but it doesn't matter like it's it's positive and also it's good for me for my um, low self-esteem at the moment to sort of build myself up a bit and um, seeing myself perform um, shows me reflects back to me the value that I have as a creative person as an artist a musician filmmaker um, so yeah, so I figured, well, let me take that, that song and, and finish it, and, and then I sort of clicked. It can go in the movie, like, it's not really in this current cut of the movie, but it can go in the movie because um, we shot a whole dance routine to go with that, and with about five dancers or something, um, five beautiful dancers that did a, a great performance for us and, and had a lot of fun on the day. So. I can make a whole music video for that, and I shot with David Harris as well, and and, and did a, a vocal overdub for that. As and it's almost it's almost a duet, so I'm almost tempted to get David to come back over here and and try and redo his vocals, because I, I think I can I make it a duet with the two of us singing at the same time. But I still want to be the main vocalist. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've got the potential of doing a music video, I can do that as a song, and then as I was going through my other folders, I found another song called Sunflower Girl, um, that I did about my friend Shanice. Um, so that's another song that I can I can do a little music video for. So that's cool, I've got two songs that I can do vocal tracks for, and I'll probably do them later today. Which means two more kind of long uploads. That's the biggest thing for me at the moment is converting files, editing, converting files, and then uploading them takes a little bit of time, but that's okay. Um, it's still fun, and doing anything that's fun for me is helping me and my depression at the moment. So that's really positive. So I, that's what I've got to do today. I did finish another of the burlesque edits. Um, I think I've got about 10 performances to finish. I've done something like 106. Uh, performance edits so it's, it's it's understandable that I'm starting to kind of get a little bit bored no matter how talented these performances are and uh, they, these performance these performers are very talented they're the best in the world but I've, I've, after you've stared at 106 plus like I was shooting bullets before that nipple pasties and merkins it starts to get a bit boring like it's like if you don't have an emotional or mental connection and you've with your beautiful girlfriend, then pretty soon she's just a boring girlfriend, even though she's 
incredibly beautiful. Like beauty is not enough, and it's kind of the same with these these performances. Um, it's a little bit like a relationship where it's all about the spectacle and. What's really interesting me more is the documentary interviews and I want to finish these. I want to finish all of these performance edits first so that they're archived before I start shooting any more of the final interviews and editing the interviews, which is going to be the main focus of our documentary when we, when we end up releasing it in November. So I've got, you know, I should try and edit another one today because I just want to knock them out. And I also clicked that it's the 4th of April and the, the game is on the 8th, so I, I've got a game coming up on Friday, so I can't take my time with these um, player profiles. I've just got to finish clear cutting, uh, clear, clear cutting the blues, um, they're all done, there's just little bits, little artifacts I want to get rid of um, from the clear cutting. So that, that won't take much more than about an hour of that to finish those. So that's my plan for today, for today. And on top of that, um, Mum's going to have lunch with me at about two o'clock, and we're going to go do a grocery shop. Um, so really, it's a pretty full day. Like it's about eleven a.m. now, and I've really just sort of started started my day um, because I had such a late finish yesterday. So it's going to be another big day. Um, lots to do lots to stay positive about and though it's kind of raining and sunny it's a confusing day as far as the weather is concerned um, it's certainly not raining in my heart and I feel really positive so so keep watching you know there's so much content that I've got like you know I've got shelves and shelves of research for content and tutorials and all sorts of things that I can help people with and you know part of doing this is really good for me because one of the things I do with the video blogs for the filmmaking is I'm teaching and I used to be a teacher until one of my students committed suicide and that really really hit me hard that's one of the things that I'm going for, to counseling for is, is for suicide um, from from that, that student from Nigel um, so and that, that was like that was 10 years ago now, so it shows you how long those, those kind of things can affect you. But I, I'm not willing to let those things stop me anymore. And this is what this is about. This is me moving forwards, and this is why these video blogs are really good for my soul. And um, can be really good for my career as well, I reckon. So keep watching, subscribe to this channel. I don't know why I'm doing the outro and the intro, because I'm probably going to have other things that I put, sort of pop in this. But in case I don't, in case this is it, this, is, this might be the blog for the day. Just keep watching because there should be a song coming up later and I do have an idea for a film advice tutorial as well so stay, stay subscribed, keep on watching, um, things are really good, things are happening now and um, you know it's hard to stay depressed and inactive and sick when you know you have to set daily goals and have and do interesting things every day and it kind of we, we all should be doing that anyhow we sort of forget that you know in nine to five jobs uh, you often don't have the time to do that so you know even though it sucks that I'm sick and I have this chronic pain chronic fatigue condition even though it sucks that I have post-traumatic stress and depression I do have a lot of time and time is really valuable and I have a lot of motivation and a lot of content that I can create. So it's all excellent. It's all really good. So keep on watching.